Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking the video. It means a lot that you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And we are continuing our new series, Stalking 42, where we look at one Survivor 42 cast member every day and, and, until we get through all 18 cast members. As always, we will look at their pregame interviews as well as their social medias and EW bios and try to get a sense for how they did on the show. And today we're looking at Drea Wheeler, a fitness consultant slash Instagram influencer slash athlete. And boy, is there a lot to talk about here. I mean, just by skimming through her social media, I just, I really don't like her to be honest. Um, but I, honestly, but, you know, but before we get into her social media, let me show you some of her pregame in interviews. I am Drea Wheeler. I am a fitness trainer slash fitness business owner and grew up in San Antonio, but I live in Montreal now. I feel like my life has been like a survivor boot camp. Growing up in San Antonio, we basically lived organized sports. My middle school was sponsored by Nike. Like that's how intense we were, you know what I mean? So I am athletic and I think that my experience in the fitness game has prepared me for this. Not just being an athlete, but also as an owner of a fitness business because I had to learn how to strategically be one step ahead of my competitors. It feels surreal that I'm here and my toes are in the sand. It's weird, like it's bizarre, but as a super fan, I want that like song as I find the idol and I put it on and then I take it away. That's what I want as a super fan. My name is Andrea Wheeler. And I will win Survivor because I've been in Survivor boot camp all my life. This is like, this is my life. <laughs> That's why. I've been basically in the process of building up to this moment in this event. Me that I don't want the other per, um, players to know is that I am a successful fitness business owner. I'm going to be telling them that I'm a fitness trainer. <laughs> I don't want them to see me as someone who has to be somewhat strategic in my life. Just, I find that unfortunately the stereotype of a fitness trainer or fitness um, personal trainer is, people think a certain way about it, but I'm actually pretty successful in what I do. And I'm strategic in a way that I am empathetic and I get people talking and I get to know them. Um, and that's how I make my my moves in my life. So I don't want them to know that I'm actually yet really good at what I do. <laughs> okay, so I think first off, she she really likes her job. <laughs> she talks about it a lot. Uh, I, I mean, that's that's normal. Obviously, you, you, you'd hope that you like your job. Um, she she definitely talks about how she sees her job as you know sh sh strategy because she has to you know co I guess collab with other people. Again, she's basically an, an, an influencer. I know maybe she doesn't want to say it out loud, but like going to her Instagram and her Twitter, you can tell that she is 100% an in, 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 in influencer. Like it's it's very obvious. Like obviously, I'm sure she sells her her fitness stuff, but I think she could live just off of her Instagram posts. Like seriously, like that's how how big her Instagram is. So yeah, here's here's her gram. It's basically it's a it's it's interesting for sure. She has 678 thousand followers so she is uh almost what well, she's uh 68 percent uh the way to a million followers on uh instagram which is pretty crazy uh someone can tell me in the comments if we've ever had somebody with as big of a following as this person has who isn't like already like, an, like a big big celebrity like maybe like jimmy johnson like well i, I guess that was back in like tw uh, tw 2010 so I don't know, but yeah, she she's definitely big. You can tell that she like she definitely m like makes money off of her posts because she does occasionally have sponsors. She really didn't even really post that much about being on Survivor, uh, except for uh, just this this one little post where it says, "I played Survivor." Let me write that again in case you're in shock. Lol, I played Survivor. I can finally scream it out loud. The journey came at, at a time in my life when I needed a breakthrough, breakdown, and break up with certain things, places, and people. And trust me when I say it did not disappoint. It's real. I mean real and raw. I cannot wait for you all to watch my journey on and off your televisions from today onward. Because this country girl from Texas has changed and is ready for a new... Um, I'm not even going to try and say that word, but uh, that around the room, folks. Uh, Rabbit is out of the hat. Catch me on ball. Okay, yeah. So she is she is definitely excited for you know people to see this. So she must have at least, like, she had 
to have made at least post merge. Now I don't think that she she did like overall like super duper good in the game because to me she's focusing on much more about the journey itself. Now for the journey to, to be in, you know in impactful, you would think that she made post merge or at least like very very late uh, pre merge. So to me, she's definitely not you know going out in, in like the the first five boots. She's definitely at least going to, to, to be at, at the very earliest a late pre, 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 pre merge boot if not like maybe an early merge boot but i just don't see her going really really, really far in the game because to me it seems like like she went on to like you know fill a void in her herself i guess at, at the time which isn't really the, the mindset that you want going into survivor you don't want to go in you know in into survivor trying to figure out who you are it's you know better to, to go in knowing who you are and then using that knowledge to, to, to your advantage and it doesn't seem that, that she she did that so that's my opinion on that it, it, it's interesting it's like she she seems to be a fitness influencer and then she sells her fitness stuff on the side because she has drea approved which is like uh body uh, yeah she has like a brand called body licious and I, I guess she sells yeah yeah she she sells merch because this is what uh, is, is that a bag and uh, the two is that is, are those umbrella I, I have no idea but she she sells stuff with with her name on it so she's definitely a fitness influencer who has her own merch i think that's probably her clothes i'm guessing i i would have to afterglow i'm sure sure that that's a brand here it said um it says afterglow and that person is coming together to bring you yeah yeah so she is definitely a fitness in influencer i don't i to me I, again and i i know it's hypocritical coming from me but i really don't see this as like like that cool like you're you post a, a picture at like every three days like i put so much effort in in, in my channel and like i i it's like three hours for one video and then times that by five a week right since she she takes you know a, a flick well, you know once every three days i you you can call me hypocritical but i think that this this is not that impressive of a job and i kind of do do look down maybe on in, on the instagram in influencers because I, I find it to be kind of silly uh, but yeah this, this that's drea's instagrams i guess because there's like several of them um this is drea's twitter uh this is where you 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 really get, get, get to see like who she is as a person so here we go uh she says i'm made for yeah this is just her but okay this is the, the this is the thing that really like really sold me on the, the fact that she's an influencer is because every time she posts on instagram she then you know posts that post on twitter to try and get more eyes on it which is definitely an influencer move it's it's very very smart too um, so she obviously is on Instagram like for the money and not just to post uh, because her photos are very professional. They're very filtered and things like that. Uh, and then I started to get, you know, get, get a sense for who she was as a person, you know, as far as her social and political beliefs. She says, supported a local female owned business today for a much needed me day after yes yesterday's news went out. So I guess that's when she when she got announced for the show, she needed to go to a female owned business specifically. I, re, I don't really get the logic there, but you do you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on to her parade.com interview. So she starts off by to talking about how she was born and raised in Texas and how she moved to Montreal from there and talks about you know all of her job titles, being a fitness instructor, trainer, personal trainer and fitness business owner she also talks about how you know she had never seen a black woman on tv who wasn't one dimensional which is absolutely hilarious saria is what is a multi-dimensional character and so for her to say that that she and again she 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 specifically uses the words they were always one dimensional which is absolutely hilarious it's, it's just it's just not the case like always one dim di di dimensional and not so so much what i could relate to that's just not it's just not the case she says that she can identify with kim spradlin um because she was a a athletic she li listened to people and that she didn't really uh backstab at anyone and that er er everybody liked her and that she still made the decisions she also likes sari which is kind of hilarious considering that she just said that there wasn't a one dimensional black character who she really identified with and then, and then she mentions like literally one of the biggest characters in in the show's history but that aside she seems to like sari 
you know, she talks about how she's very empathetic uh, and how nobody wanted to vote her out, despite the fact that, you know, that they knew that it would, it would benefit their game overall to vote, vote her out. And lastly, she says that she wants an alliance partner like how Wendell and Dom were, where they both knew that they had to go after e- each other eventually, but they had a sense of lo- loyalty to e- each other and didn't just go, you know, go after each other immediately. Um, and yeah, that's her parade.com interview her e w bio she's age 35 she's from san antonio she now lives in montreal she she likes working out and doing any kind of charity work she's resilient ambitious and caring she does not like the dishonest people she her her greatest accomplishment is being an all american track runner uh and she talks about how it's very you know very hard and it's very Com- uh, c- c- competitive field uh where you know in, in being all, all american it takes a lot of, of work to, to do so she says that she comes uh, off as strong and super confident but she has a fear of death which i can re- relate to because i also have a, a, a fear of death she s- says that her hero is her mom apparently her dad died and then left her with five kids and it's just it's a lot of uh i mean it's we pretty much everybody has like a crazy sob story um I, I wish they wouldn't cast for these because they're obviously casting for sob stories. There's no way that you pick 18 random people and e- everyone's parents, you know, jumped off a cliff and then came back to life and then jumped off a cliff again. It's just like, it, it's just very, it's very manufactured and it takes away from the strength of these stories and the power that comes from these stories usually when everybody who is casted specifically to have this story in their background she wa- wants to play like kelly wentworth which is in- interesting because she just mentioned kim who played from the top and then kelly plays from the bottom so it's very very weird um and then she says that her personality physical strength and uh, ability to manipulate people will help her win the game and so I don't, I don't know to me drea is somebody who i don't i really don't see her winning the game i think she may even be a villain on this season i think that her best shot to, to get far is to do exactly what she said is get in in a partnership like wendell and dom and then hope that you know that the other person takes the target off of her back um, and so i do think that she does make at least late pre-merge probably post-merge because of her talking about you know her her journey that she went on and and how the, the show just re, you know, re, 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 really helped her with with her life but i, I think the issue comes where she went into the, the show not really wanting to play but rather wanting to solve a life issue and get out of a, a personal rut and so to me that just does not scream you know i'm going into win it screams i'm going in to solve a, a personal problem which isn't really a, a winner's mindset and yeah that that's it guys uh thank you as always for you know subbing and liking and doing all of that good stuff none of this happens without you guys without you guys i'm just a weird guy speaking into a weird microphone and if that's what i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace <laughs>